The chip war between China and the U.S. is getting more and more intense as the U.S. President Joe Biden is prepared to exert even greater pressure on Japan and the Netherlands to join attempts to obstruct the flow of cutting-edge semiconductor technology to China, where it could be used to manufacture abrasive weapons. According to reports, the U.S. government is pressuring Dutch company ASNL Holding NV to cease providing Chinese chip makers with any more of its machinery. What is the response of the Netherlands to this? Let's find out. Welcome to Technology Data and don't forget to subscribe. President Donald Trump of the United States started imposing tariffs and other trade restrictions on China in January 2018 in an effort to pressure it to stop what the country is accused of doing unfairly including stealing intellectual property and violating trade agreements. The Chinese government retaliated against U.S. trade restrictions by charging the Trump administration with nationalist protectionism. After the trade war intensified through 2019, the two sides came to a tough phase one deal in January 2020. The agreement expired in December 2021, with China failing miserably to meet its targets for American imports into China. Recently, the U.S. decided to ban the semiconductor export to China as the U.S. feels threatened that China would construct or acquire high-end semiconductors for military uses. The Biden administration has effectively prohibited trade with China in cutting-edge semiconductor technology, manufacturing machinery, and related human resources since October. The regulations include steps that would make it illegal for foreign businesses to export chips that use American technology. American businesses are strong in both the design software required to create cutting-edge semiconductors and the software utilized in chips. Many South Korean and Taiwanese enterprises manage products that employ such U.S. technology. Now that trade with China is not possible on good terms, the Netherlands and Japan are the focus of U.S. concern due to their superiority in semiconductor manufacturing equipment, which is now exempt from U.S. laws. There is a reason why the U.S. government is specifically focusing on Dutch businesses. The chip-making equipment market is dominated by three businesses globally. The largest is an American firm called Applied Materials, followed by a Dutch company named ASNL and a Japanese company called Tokyo Electron. For equipment that uses specialized chemicals to make circuits on semiconductor wafers, Tokyo Electron holds a 90% market share worldwide. For equipment that forms thin films on wafer surfaces, it holds a nearly 40% market share. China was the company's largest customer, surpassing South Korea and Taiwan, and receiving a quarter of the company's total sales of $13.6 billion for the fiscal year that ended in March 2022. On the other hand, ASNL is a top manufacturer of the frequently massive and expensive machinery used in chip production. The Netherlands-based ASML supplies its goods to semiconductor fabs all around the world. Some of the products have a price tag of above $100 million per product. Due to the Dutch company's dominance in the global market for this type of equipment, any restrictions placed on its business dealings with China would severely jeopardize China's efforts to become an independent producer of vital electronic components. ASML is rumored to have significant business with the Chinese chipmaker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp., and Hoa Hong Semiconductor Lid. However, the business is unable to market its extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography equipment to Chinese customers, which roughly costs around $164 per piece. But they do business with DUVs, deep ultraviolet lithography equipments. Most extensively used chips that power client PCs, servers, mobile gadgets, autonomous vehicles, and robotics are produced using DUV. These DUV systems are commonly utilized to produce less powerful computer chips, a generation behind ASML's cutting-edge equipment. But according to restrictions put forth by American politicians, ASML won't be able to offer its common deep ultraviolet DUV lithography tools to Chinese customers as well. Early in June, U.S. Deputy Commerce Secretary Don Graves made the request to stop China from acquiring the older DUV systems while on a visit to the Netherlands. Graves met with ASNL's CEO Peter Wenning at the company's Veldhoven corporate headquarters. 
in order to prohibit the sale of almost all lithography tools made in the nation to businesses in China. American government representatives are collaborating with their Dutch counterparts. The Made in China 2025 strategy will be seriously undermined if the American politicians are successful, as will China's efforts to establish itself as a premier producer of semiconductors. Officials from the United States and the Netherlands engaged in at least four rounds of negotiations over the following months while they considered whether they could completely halt the sale. If ASNL is restricted from selling DUV systems to China, sales there could fall by up to 10%. Security is the main focus of American semiconductor laws. The rush to build such cutting-edge military equipment as hypersonic missiles and precision-guided weaponry is intimately tied to the advantage of advanced semiconductor technology. From all this, it is clear that the U.S. is afraid China might snatch its title of begging the world's superpower. It will be difficult to convince the Dutch government to forbid the sale of almost all lithography scanners to Chinese consumers. About 16% of ASNL's income in 2021, which totaled $18.6 billion, was generated by Chinese fabs operated by domestic firms like Hua Hong, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Co., SMIC, and YMTC, or by large multinational corporations like TSMC, Samsung, and SK Hynix. The Netherlands is a U.S. ally, however. No official news has been yet disclosed regarding the decision to boycott Chinese exports by the Dutch government. With that being said, we come to the end of the video. Should the Netherlands join this chip war and ban DUV export to China? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your best friends. To keep up to date about what's happening around in different countries, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated about our latest content.